So uh, this piece is called Response Number One, and it was a response to um, uh, some kids, uh, I assume they're kids, actually they probably were adults, um, painted uh, a, a large graffiti piece on the side of the um, School of the Art Institute's Modern Wing. Um, and then at the, and then not too long after that, there was uh, the police chased this guy who was, who was doing graffiti in Chicago, and he, he, in order to evade them, he threw himself off of a, a bridge, and he hit the water and he died and he drowned. So these two sort of graffiti related incidents with all and, and all of the, the subsequent uproar about graffiti uh, prompted me to write this piece. But I'm just gonna read the last little part of it because I think it kind of summarizes what I'm interested in with the book. I and mean, there's a lot of pieces that cover a lot of different ground and a lot of different styles, but um, this piece I think really sums up kind of what the book is kind of exploring. <clears throat> I am a rapper introduced to hip hop culture through commodity. My early engagements with rap music were mediated by radio, cable television, the sterilized confines of the mall's record chain. I experienced the renegade of rap after it had been scrubbed, bleeped. I felt the furious wild style from a safe distance, witnessed the body's pops and spins behind glass. I copied. I, like many artists, have benefited from those who risk their bodies crossing invented boundaries. Those who risk their bodies to steal, hustle, con, bend the bars to prove another paradigm is possible. We pick and tear, wear their skin, swallow their tongues to better define ourselves. We press their remains on t-shirts long after they've been crushed by narrow, elitist agendas. It's all make-believe. Institutes are machinations like constructs of race, wealth, success, a shared hallucination. All that is real and undeniable is the animal need to survive, the human desire to exist after the flesh dissolves. There will be always those who loiter outside our hollowed halls, those who haven't a taste for stinky cheese, and if they are not greeted, they will introduce themselves. It will not be creased nor presentable. It will test the patience of the liberal and learned. We will have to stop for a moment mute ourselves and think about what it really means.